Our third speaker this evening is Anton Kotlin, and Anton is a postdoc at the Abdus Salam International Center for Theoretical Physics in Italy and the founder of Enabla. And his lightning talk tonight will focus on an experimental approach to improving scientific communications. Hello, everyone. Let me just share my slides. If I can find them. Okay, can you see it? Yes, we can see it. It's not yet in presentation mode. Yeah, it should be now. Yes, it is. Okay, great. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you for the introduction. My name is Anton. I'm a condensed matter physics postdoc, still working on my thesis and uh, also a founder of the NABLA platform, an uh, open platform for publishing and discussing graduate and postgraduate level uh, lectures and courses. However, my talk today won't be directly about our platform. I won't even advocate for one or another open science practice. Instead, I would like to discuss why their implementation is slow and what can we potentially do about that. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Uh, there are a lot of different intriguing proposals on how to enhance publishing. Many of them we have already discussed during this event. Some of them still left unnoticed. However, there is a common problem of all of these proposals. They are still debatable and not widely accepted. Uh, there are contrary opinions, not only among participants of this event, but also on a larger scale, as it was nicely pointed out in the chats. And it is not surprised that uh, in such situation, it is too risky and too costly for most publishers to implement these proposals, uh, even if they support open science in principle. Indeed, um, some of these proposals, even when they, um, some of these proposals difficult to implement even from a technological point of view. Uh, consider, for example, multilingual publications discussed today in chats, interactive papers or inline peer reviews, and uh, and so on and so on. However, it's also a good news. Uh, because then it comes to technological challenges, it's usually easier to find a solution uh, than for the societal set challenges. So the solution I would like to discuss today is what we call a universal publishing framework. Uh, it is an easily reusable technology integratable with any existing journal, hopefully, uh, and incorporating many different modern practices in itself. Uh, you can think about it as about a website constructor. Uh, 20 years ago, only professionals could create websites, but now anyone can construct simple sites from many different building blocks in a couple of clicks. So imagine how much easier it would be for newly founded journals to scale up if we would concentrate on attracting offers or use editors instead of working on technological aspect of their open science infrastructure. Creating such an open science journal constructor would allow publishers to experiment with new approaches, searching for the exact combination of features they need. So to finish my talk, I would like to show you the platform I and my team created during the past few years, Enabla. We created it to store and discuss postgraduate level educational lectures, but now it has also workshop talks and research papers on it. And it turned out that our platform already has such tricky to implement features as video publishing and reviewing post publication and inline discussions in both video and traditional publications, possibility to directly interact with authors. Uh, and reviewers during the peer review step and interactive HTML based content. And if you think that creation of the universal publishing framework or something like that 
would benefit scientific community, the Enabla team could have easily done this based on what we have already done. Um, meanwhile, you are very welcome to upload your own lectures and papers to Enabla or even join our team. As for many other open science initiatives, our team consists of volunteers and we constantly need people to write grant applications, invite new offers and advertise our platform to different institutions and organizations and so on and so on. So I hope this talk resonated with you. Thank you for your attention. And now I would be happy to hear any feedback on our proposal, especially from the ones representing the journals. What do you guys think about all of this? Thank you. Thank you very much, Anton. And uh, using the power invested in me as the moderator of, this, moderator of this session, I am awarding you five extra points for integrating screenshots from the uh, Slack discussions from today into your presentation. So I asked all for spoken missions. <laughs> all right. 